So the Waterview Connection is a new highway between State Highway 20 and State Highway 16. It involves the construction of two tunnels, 13.1 metre in diameter, 2.4 kilometres in length, and it will link the two highways and give a greater connection to the airport. Well, Waterview Connection is one of the government's roads of national significance. It's the largest, we consider it to be the, the jewel in the crown, as it were. So TBM was ready to bore around about October 2013. The TBM itself is 14.4 metres in diameter. It's an EPB TBM and it's the 10th largest in the world. So the maximum pressure that we have operated so far is 2.2 bar. Uh, there is a possibility that we'll, ha we'll have to operate around about 3 bar, but at the moment that's not presented itself. So our maximum advance length in one day has been 36 metres. And uh, normally we advance around about a long average of 14 metres a day, so seven rings in one, one production day. We started the tunnelling, I think it was in October, November 2013 and it took us through to about September 2014 to do complete the first drive. The geotechnical conditions were largely as expected so we have encountered no significant issues in our tunnelling. What's unique about this project is that we've turned the TBM around in such a small area. The shield itself is 2,400 tonnes and we've turned that around in a very tight, confined space. It's very rare for a machine of this size, of 2,400 tonnes, to be turned around and sent back again. Also unique on this project is the uh, culvert gantry, uh, which is independent from the main TBM. So that's a specially designed piece of equipment for this project. It's never been done before and uh, it's working very well. So on previous projects, the culvert has been laid by the TBM structure and then they become dependent on each other to progress. So one will slope the other at some point. It's been proven on other projects. This is now independent and it means that one can work while the other one is not working and vice versa. Currently we are driving the northbound tunnel. We're 350 rings in, which is 700 metres, and we're due to finish in mid-spring this year. Numerous challenges relating from environmental challenges, dealing with stakeholders. We're working in a busy urban environment and we have a mantra to be a good neighbour. And I think we've achieved very good feedback from our neighbours in terms of the way we've interacted with them. We've hit all our key dates. I think the, the, the programme that we achieved for Breakthrough was to within a day or two of a programme that we'd set ourselves over two years previously. So our overall weekly production rates are as good as we expected at time of tender. Coming from the UK, living in New Zealand is brilliant. It's a fantastic place to live and, and to work. Uh, the project itself is absolutely amazing. Uh, the alliance culture that we have on the project is fantastic. It's a really good place to work and uh, look forward to completing the project uh, later this year. Thank you.